thank you for this time. Uh, my name is Jonah. I'm from uh, Cambodia. And uh, how did I get to know about Siba? Uh, first of all, I started off with my interest. I can say that I've never experienced in the construction or never experienced in the 3D CP before, uh, 3D concrete printing. But uh, I know that the, um, the, uh, the industry is really moving very fast, so I want to be able to update and be aware of how that construction works. And uh, I took interest in the 3D CP. And I look in the website, uh, in the Google, searching different companies of 3D CP. And I found out that Siba was the best out of all the other options. And they got a lot of um, uh, training details and a lot of other uh, uh, different things that could very benefit me and uh, the plan that I have going on. So, yeah. Uh, I'm Nasser from Onokom. Uh, I'm a Japanese architect and Epic architect. Then we are a Japanese construction company. Then we have branch in Thailand uh, and the Philippines. The, this purpose to introduce this 3D CP machine, uh, our target is to introduce in Philippines because uh, Philippines there are a lot of people then increasing population. Then we need a lot of house in the Philippines. That's why we are recently considering 3D CP to make a lot of house in the Philippines. Then in Japan, after that, our target in Japan. In Japan, labor force is decreasing now. Then we need labor force. So in the near future, I think this machine is needed to make building. Yeah, we started off by uh, the agenda layout plan of the training. And uh, Mark, who is our uh, trainer, and he basically just let us know the flow of the training and kind of um, uh, teach us how and what we will uh, learn and what we will uh, try to achieve during the first uh, couple of days. So that was mostly sitting down, looking through uh, um, what is, uh, what is uh, 3DCP, um, how does it work, the details, the system, the operation. So mostly just sitting down and, and getting the training about uh, what we will learn. And then a um, few days later, we come down and have an overview of the equipment and the, uh, the 3D CP machine and the robots and the central unit. Then we actually had, a, we started the, the, the actual practical use of the, um, uh, of the using of the machine, using of the, uh, basically understanding what all the different components are and once we understand and aware and how it operates and know how to use it, then we get the dry test, which basically we use and operate, but there's no um, material coming out. And once it's successfully a uh, dry test, then we do the actual printing, which involves with the materials coming up to the form, the design that we need. And then, um, yeah, we start from there. Once we got used to it and understand how it works, then we started to build many many more i say about five or six different uh, designs already we're very proud um this is many of our, one of our design our print that we had successfully done and many more that we did so it's a really good learning experience you know i mean whatever you do whatever we train or go through it's not always going to be perfect but what's more important is that we go through the process the system the communication and the teamwork and I think that's what really helped us to grow more and understand of how we can print uh, with great result and what we wanted. So when we started this training, we started to how to use this machine and how to use uh, how to make Rhinoceros model. Then after three days, we already started to print out our model. Then recently, we already make a huge to meta to meta wall. I, I enjoyed most um, when we have our trainees, when we learn together to be able to uh, connect and get to know each other and how we can connect and communicate with each other. And so I think the friendship is one of the uh, important uh, thing as well. Um, and what I really enjoyed after that is basically the come and get the actual 
uh, practical use of the machine, get our hands on. And I liked it that part because this is where we can actually, of all the things that we have studied, all the things that we have trained for, we come and execute it. And that's where I really enjoyed it the most because if we just train, learn, and understand about what the uh, product is about, but don't actually have the actual execution, actual hands-on, then it really wouldn't be sufficient enough. It really wouldn't be enough to be able to complete our training. So uh, that for me, I really enjoyed it a lot. So um, the connection, the friendships, and also the come and using the actual machine. I uh, enjoy most is uh, basically uh, in Japan, I'm an architect, so just make drawing and model. But we can practice and confirm within a day in factory. So, for example, a two meter, two meter wall is we could in, uh, we could print out only one hour. So very nice. Then we very enjoyed that experience. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, um, this is actually, even though it's been for a while, about four or five years or so, but you know, technically, if we're talking about the actual on-ground printing, it's still pretty new in the market. It's actually in the world. Most of the developed countries are familiar and know and have used it uh, many years already, but the concept, uh, the industry is still pretty new. Now, for other countries that have not been familiarized, there's many, many countries have not known about this. Even though they know about it, but they don't know how it works and what benefit it can gain from. So, definitely, with my experience, that I've never, ever know about 3DCP before. And not only that, I don't even know much about construction. But um, to be able to experience it, personally, I would definitely recommend to other people as well, for sure. Yes, uh, I think so, so because in my experience, uh, very difficult to control mortar and material. So before, I just consider uh, easy to wait, just switch on, then can build. But uh, this training, I felt very difficult to study. So I recommend to join this training, then we learn how to use machine, how to make uh, material, so definitely I recommend. Mm -hmm.